Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on this Tama Club Jam Flyer 4P Shell Pack. Let's go. This drum kit may look small, it may look tiny, but it has a huge sound and is super fun to play. So let's get into the details of this Tama kit right now. There's a number of really cool features about this Tama Club Dram, Club Dram, Flun drum kit. Okay. There's lots of really cool things about this Tama Club Jam drum kit. I can't say it, gosh darn it. Okay, I'm ready. There's lots of really cool things about this Tama Club Dram. Editor, just skip through the first 12 minutes of this. Okay. There's lots of really cool things about this Tama kit. The first thing is that it's small, the footprint. Say you have a small coffee house or a small club and you can only fit a small drum kit on that small stage. Well, this is perfect for that. Or if you need something small in your home to practice on, again, this is really cool for that situation as well. And like I said earlier, it has a really big sound for such small drums. So let's get into the sizes right now. The kick drum is a 10 by 14. This little rack tom is six by eight. The small floor tom is nine by 10 and the snare drum is five by 10. What's good about having these small drums in a practice situation is that you have to be a little more accurate because these drums are so small. If you're used to a regular size kit with a 14 inch snare drum and big rack toms, big floor toms and a normal kick drum, well, you can be a little bit more loose with where you're hitting the drums and how you're moving your arms around. But a small kit like this to practice on, you can get your accuracy just right. That being said, let's hear the sound of these drums with no music in the background. I'm gonna have the snare wires off first and we'll start with the toms. Again, eight inch rack tom and a 10 inch floor tom. Here we go. Nice musical tone and nice pitch with these toms. Now I have them tuned low for such small toms, so you can really go a lot higher. And before I go on here, I wanna mention the drum heads. When you get these drums out of the box, you get Thomas clear stock heads. And those are fine heads, and I encourage you to use those until you beat them up and you need to change heads. But like I say, with every drum kit you buy here at Sweetwater, it's really good to find the head that you love. So different head combinations will, of course, change the sound of the drums. So what I did for these drums is I picked the most widely used drum head probably of all time, the Remo Ambassador to put on the rack toms. A nice single ply head, the coating sort of dries up the sound a little bit, gives it a tiny bit warmer tone than a clear head, and I think it's a great combination for these little drums. Let's put the snare wires on and do the same thing. You're not gonna get as much snare wire buzz out of a small 10 inch drum as you are your normal 14 inch drum, but the snare wires were on and the drums still sound great. Speaking of the snare drum, let's get into the sound of this drum now. Well, first with the snare wires off and let me tell you that I put on a Remo 
coated Emperor on the snare drum. The reason I picked the Emperor, a little bit thicker of a head, is good for a small snare drum. And another cool thing about having this little 10 inch snare drum, say you have a normal size kit and you wanna have a small side snare, well, this little 10 inch guy could be perfect for that situation as well. So you, you get a lot of bang for your buck. All right, now to the sound of the drum. Snare wire's off first, here we go. Really nice cracking tone to the snare drum and super easy to turn the snare wires on and off while I was playing. Now to this kick drum. Again, it's a 10 by 14 inch kick drum, so really small, but you get nice low end and a big round tone. There's no dampening inside the drum at all. And for the head on this kick drum, I picked a clear Remo Power Stroke 3. Here we go. A nice warm sound, especially from the player's perspective here, and you're definitely pushing low end out towards the audience. Let's put the snare wires on and do the same thing. A cool big sound for such a small drum. Okay, I played all the drums individually. Let's put them all together. Here we go. It really is a lot of fun to play on this little kit. Let me take you through the hardware right now. Really nice high-end Tama hardware on this little kit. Beautiful Tama lugs. Single Tom holder here that goes right into the kick drum and it's really sturdy. It's holding on tight, which is really nice. You have the ability to put on another piece of gear right onto the Tom holder here, like a piece of percussion, cowbell, tambourine, what have you, or a cymbal arm for another cymbal if you want. Also, if you notice right here on the kick drum, there's an adapter here for a cymbal arm. It's another attachment that you have to buy separately, but it's basically a boom arm where you can put this, your ride cymbal or a crash, whatever, right onto the kick drum, making the drum set even smaller if you want. Like I mentioned just a minute ago, the throw off and strainer on this drum are really nice and super smooth. Ratchet style just pulls back, pulls forward, snare wires are back on. If you want to adjust the tension, it's right there. Really nice and again, really easy to use. Also, they put a holder attached to the snare drum right here. So like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna use this drum as a side snare on your regular kit, you can attach this drum to a tom holder off of your cymbal stand on the left side of your kit or anywhere for that matter. Tama gives you a very nice bass drum lifter for this kit. You know, this drum is really small, so if you want your beater of your kick drum pedal to hit right in the center, you need to lift that kick drum up. This one's very convenient, very easy to attach and stays on there nice and solidly. And last but not least, the long floor tom legs for this small floor tom. You know, you wanna get the drum up high enough so you can feel comfortable like you're playing a normal size drum kit and they give you long floor tom legs to make that happen. Let me quickly talk to you about the rest of the hardware I have around this cool little kit. It's Tama's The Classic Series hardware. Really lightweight, super convenient, flat base hardware that comes in a pack. We sell it here at Sweetwater in a pack with its own bag. And again, like the rest of the kit here, if you're looking for convenience and lightweight gear, you can have all of this stuff packed up in a matter of minutes, throw it in your car, back and forth, in and out of clubs, in and out of studios, in and out of your house in no time, and it's really cool stuff. I'd like to encourage you to check out the text below the video because I'm gonna have links for all of the other gear that I'm using here today. These beautiful Minel symbols, all of the hardware I talked about, the microphones I'm using in the video today, Pro Tools, the Apollo X4 over here, all of this great gear, check out the text and the links below. There you have it everybody, the Tama Club Jam Flyer four-piece shell pack. 
A super cool little drum kit, sounds great, awfully fun to play, very convenient for a small stage, at home practice situations, and more. If you want any more information about this Tama drum kit or any other Tama product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Well, Nick, what are you doing here? I heard it was Tiny Drum Day. Tiny Drum Kit Day? It's it's a tiny drum kit, but it's not that tiny. Well, do you guys have any drums that I could play? I don't think we have drums that small. Plus, you know, you're a little late. We started this video shoot a couple of hours ago. Where were you? Come on, man. Dude, dude, my legs are only like an inch tall. It takes me a while to get places. You know this. Yeah, don't make little ex don't make little tiny excuses like that. Oh, whatever, man. You're always complaining. I've had it up to here with you big people. Don't get all ornery with me, little Nick. I'm always busting my buns for you trying to, you know, I do all kinds of good stuff, and all I want to do is play little drums and just, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Forget it, man. I'm out of here. Wait. Careful now. Don't fall. Ooh.